Hello and welcome back to the channel. We're Dan and Stephen, a married couple living full time in our little 1996 VW camper van, Daisy. We've spent the past year exploring our own incredible back garden of the UK to see what this amazing country has to offer, all the while trying to learn and adapt to our tiny home, haphazardly deal with the problems it throws up, while figuring out how we're going to sustain this lifestyle long term. Last week we stretched our wings, taking a ferry to the magical Outer Hebrides in Scotland, and in this video we continue to explore the islands, taking a journey to their most northerly point. So sit back, relax and come along dear! We left you last week on the hunt for a shower, which we found but entirely forgot to film, so maybe we'll skip ahead to the clean part, shall we? We are we're clean, we're showered. So the Isle of Hebrides, out the Outer Hebrides, on the they've got a website that actually tells you where local showers are. I've never seen anywhere else in the UK that does that. I'm not saying I've looked extensively, but I can't imagine they exist in many places. So it tells you all these different places where you can get a shower. And we were struggling to find somewhere in Stornoway. It was shut, it was kind of boarded up, um, presumably for the winter or not, I don't know. And we, we kind of gave up on the idea, but then I found the website and we were literally one minute's drive from this local community centre where you can pay for a shower, it's two pounds, they are beautiful showers, really hot, really powerful, and well worth it, right? But yes, we're all clean, and now we're gonna find a little park up. But first, time for a spot of lunch. Here's our reduced lunch. How much did they cost? 75p each. 75p, so they're peri peri, peri, peri chicken. So we got them from co-op, and all this clearance stuff, we try and do this as often as possible now so we don't store food too much or for too long. Mm -hmm. um, look at that, 375 down to 75p. We yep. saved it till the next day, but it's actually fine. And it's done us a lunch. Yep. Looks lovely. So it's chicken breast. I look forward to that. It's got brown rice, carrots, broccoli and red quinoa. Very nice. What we're also going to do is we're going to wash out our pots. <laughs> we're going to eat out of the plastic containers. And then we're going to eat out of them. Yeah. Save. In fact, we might even keep them because they look very useful little dishes, I would say. Yeah, they do. They look better than our dishes. You know, they won't last forever, <laughs> but <clears throat> recycle, reuse and all that. We've even got, we've even got dessert. So, we discovered these. Oh my God. <laughs> so snowballs, which we all think of as something different probably in England. Fluffy, spongy halves sandwiched together with fruit jam rolled around in white coating white icing and coconut. So this is it out of Here it is. Yeah. Oh well. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, these are shit. These oh ones. no. <laughs> the last ones we got were amazing. Okay, so these ones were a lot cheaper than the ones we got before. We got a pack of two that were actually a bit more expensive than the pack of four. We should have known better, really. They still look edible, they look nice. Not the same, not as much jam, is there? Not much jam and no cream. Was there cream in the mm. other one? Oh. I'm still going to eat it. Yeah. Okay, so we have just got to the north, the very, the most north point of the Isle of... I'm still confused. Are we on the Isle of Harris or the Isle of Lewis? I know they're the same Lewis. thing. Harris and Lewis, that's what it says on the It map. is Harris and Lewis, but which one is Harris and which one is Lewis? I think this is Lewis, isn't it? I think so. Right. <laughs> so we're on the very most northerly point of the Isle of... Isle of Lewis, the Isle of Harris and Lewis, and we've driven up here because we thought we'd make our way down over the next few days, see what there is to see, hopefully save on fuel that way. Um, we've had our showers, so we're all ready, all prepped, all fresh, all clean, and we're going to see, we're going to walk and see a little lighthouse. And we've just found this park up, but it is absolutely beautiful, so let's go and take a look.
After this, we explored the coast around the butt of Lewis Lighthouse, which offered some of the most dramatic scenery we'd seen yet. As the sun began to set and we warmed up in the van, we headed south down the west coast to find a park up for the night. So we've been on this bumpy pothole ridden track for about five minutes now. Kind of praying that we actually get to our spot. <laughs> oh, which way then? Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, it looks like a good spot. It's a strange one. Well, if it isn't perfect, it certainly looks perfect. Oh, look, there's a sandy beach and everything. Okay. I think we're here. Okay, we found our spot for the night. After a long tussle with the long pothole ridden track. So, how about that for a view? Well, it's the window, but you can see, you get the point. <laughs> you know, even though the sun's setting and it's dark, the sea has still got a different colour to what we're used to in most places in Britain. There's one other vehicle here. Let's investigate, shall we? But, who cares when you can look at that? Seriously, who cares? Yesterday, yesterday, we were in shorts and t-shirt, paddling in the sea. Today, my hands are red raw, and I feel like I've just got out of the freezer. I feel like I'm in a freezer. 
I can't believe the difference, but it is March and we need to remember that and we're in a really remote part of the UK and in, um, in the Outer Hebrides. So we've kind of been spoiled and I guess the weather's always going to be changeable, but I just want to get back to the van now because I'm so cold. <laughs> So two days after lots of sunshine, warm weather and paddling <laughs> in Scottish island waters, which was freezing winds and ice cold temperatures. And last night we were treated, treated to a falling of what sounded like rain and sleet, but it ended up with a very light covering of snow. Yeah, it was on and off all night and it was it, when it did happen, it was quite heavy and intense. Um, I've just woken up, as you can tell. Da, da, da. As you can see, the snow on the floor. It's not much. It certainly sounded worse. I think it was mostly sleep. And I've got the kettle on, so I'm going to shut that because the flame goes out. Back to reality. <laughs> but it's all sleety and rainy and horrible and just cold. I actually don't feel like it's as cold as yesterday. So there's that. Now I'm out. But it's not great. But then it is still technically March on the Outer Hebrides. So I really can't be expecting to get, you know, the swimming trunks out. Not yet. Okay, tell a lie. It is, it's now, it's like mini hailstones that are quite light, but very cold. So I think we might be out here for a very, very, very brief period of time. Despite this, we still headed out onto the beach again that day, taking in our surroundings and appreciating the total isolation. We then headed to a cute shop in the middle of nowhere to pick up some supplies and then took a trek across the island to, you guessed it, another beach. Sheepy. Hello. You're gonna have to move out the way. Hello, Mrs. Mister. Okay, so we've just driven across really wild terrain just across the centre of the island. So it, it looked like the Australian outback or something. It was incredible. Um the road was a bit iffy and there were sheep running in and out, but it was it was great. It was a, such great views and it's a totally different perspective on the island. Um, and we've now found a little park up with some toilets, but surrounding the beach, right at the back of it, <laughs> everywhere, is this. <laughs> Cemetery, which is quite an impressive place to be buried, I would say, right by this sea. So that's the site. So the hat's back, the hood's back. The weather's still cold, but the sun's out at least, which is something. So, see where we park there. We're near a cemetery, so it's Dalmore Beach, which is meant to be one of the many nice beaches around here. But to be honest, they all look beautiful. I then went on a little solo trek around the beach and surrounding cliffs, enjoying the spell of sunshine while it lasted.
that wind is like ice. Yet again, worth it. Every single second worth it for that view. But now, I just gotta get back down. <laughs> Somehow. Yikes. So that's how I came up. But going down is nearly always worse than coming up. I don't know about that. Okay. That's not that bad, right? I have a straight route down. Of course, I made it back down, though it was far steeper than it looked, I might add, and took time to savour the moment and enjoy this awe-inspiring place we found ourselves in. That's where we'll leave you for now. Join us next time as we continue to explore more of these islands and get lost in their history. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe to our channel if you fancy, and press that notification bell for regular updates. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.